Hey buddy, Sam back once again. This is a highly requested video that I've done on every Samsung device pretty much. And it's to have a look at the message application, the customizations, the settings, etc. So let's jump into it. Let's jump straight into the messages. So you can see I've got no messages in my inbox currently. I don't do text messages, I do WhatsApp. So yeah, let's jump into the settings. So you've got locked messages, you've got font size, you can actually make it bigger or smaller. Add priority senders. So an example of that is if I want to add extra people to the top or some priority people to the top, then you can do all happy days. And then you've got your settings. So you've got your notifications and you can have your notifications on, you can change the notification sound, you can vibrate, a pop-up display and then a preview message as well. I'd recommend having all those turned on if I were you. You've then got your background. So this is the customization section. So a message would normally look like this. But what you can do is actually say, right, I want it to look like that. Oh, I want it to look like that. Or oh, look like that or that. These are the ones that are built into it. But guess what? You can actually choose your own as well. So if you've got your own picture or something like that, so an example of these pictures here, one of my favorite pictures, this one right now. Say, right, I want it to look like that. So click done. That'll actually make that my background image on there. I think it looks pretty good. I'm not a massive fan of customizing it like that myself, but I know a lot of people are. So if you're one of those people, look at that. You can customize it to your heart's desire. So let's go back out of this one. You got quick responses. So somebody sent you a text message, you actually just kind of choose one of these straight away. So you can have like, sorry, I missed your call. How's it going? What's up, etc. You can add your own as well. That's pretty cool. You have then got uh, blocked messages. So I think on this one, you can actually have your yeah, block list, block block phrases and block messages. So as you can probably tell there, it just tells you, you can block certain people in your telephone book, happy days, and you can block phrases. So if somebody's always calling you a <laughs> dodgy word, whatever it might be, I don't know, you can block it so it will never come through. So if somebody's harassing you, you can block it, happy days. That's a beautiful feature straight into the phone. Beautiful feature? Yeah, it's a beautiful feature. <laughs> You then got identify unsaved numbers. This is pretty clever. So if somebody messages you and Samsung know who they are, let's say they sign up to the same service as this, what can happen is that they'll tell you the person's name. So an example of, let's say one of my friends messages me on a brand new number and they've got their telephone, they've told their phone that they're called, an example, Johnny Khan. Then what will happen, it'll tell me that Johnny Khan's trying to message me. Or when the message comes through, it'll say the telephone number and Johnny Khan. That's an awesome setting. I love it. I'm going to more settings. So you've got your text messages. You've got delivery reports. Uh, manage SIM mess uh, card messages. These are the ones you don't really want to mess with. In the UK, don't turn that on. You'll be charged for them. Do not turn that on. You've then got multimedia messages. So you've got group conversation, delivery reports, read reports, auto-retrieve, roaming, and restrictions, etc. You've then got push messages. So you can have, um, say, receive push messages from service providers other than the other companies. So you can have it on, you can have it off. It's on as default. You can have sell broadcast. Um, delete old messages. So you actually ask it to delete them after you've got over 100. So if you don't want to save a 1,000 messages, you can ask your phone to automatically delete those as you're going along. Very cool feature. And then you've got split view. So an example of that is... If I go to create a message, or the message is there, in fact, it's probably not going to work because I can't really show you. What will happen is you'll get like a the list of the, the people here, the messages here, so you'll tap them, and I'll show you like that. Hard to show you because I've got no messages in my phone right now. So, yeah, there is that. Let's go back into those settings for you. And that's pretty much it, actually. So, yeah, I think that's it. So if you want, again, you can go into locked messages. You can actually lock certain messages. Again, it's hard to show you. So let's say I've got a message here and I want to save the message, I can actually tap on hold, lock it, so in other words, it won't be deleted, it'll be within the locked messages settings. And then font size, you can change it, you can use device font sizes, or you can make it tiny, or you can make it huge. So if you've got crap eyesight, you want to make it huge, you've got a great eyesight, make it like that, or have the device font size. And I think that's pretty much it, I can really show you. Yeah. I'd say people, that's the message application, the customization settings, and all the options for you. If you have any questions you know what to do by now, you can hit me up in a comment down below. If you're new to your channel, please hit the subscribe button. It is very much appreciated. And go on, hit the like button. You know you want to. <laughs> anyway, people want to say thanks for watching. And you'll see me, well, you'll definitely hear me in my next video. <laughs> Cheers, everyone.